won't connect. Oh, I've killed it. Time to upgrade my smog. So I've downloaded the uh, connection for the Spark on the PC and I've got the uh, driver. So I need to put the driver onto the desktop and then extract, extract all. So I have to double click on positive USB audio and then follow the instructions so that we can update the amp. So according to the instructions I have to open the firmware updater and then connect. Made a beep. Connected. Check to update. So he's updating the uh, the amp itself. He's doing some flushing. Oh, he's stopped flushing now. No, oh, it won't connect. It might be because I need to do the same again. He's doing the uh, flushing. Let's see if that works. No. Update. No update. I don't look like I can update mine at the moment. So I was using a printer cable then. I'm just going to use the actual cable that came with it. This, to be honest, if I used the correct cable in the first place and not being so lazy to just use the printer cable that was plugged in, it would have worked first time. If that makes a difference, so we'll go to update. So this is the cable that came with it in the box. I kept the box. Um, I'll see if it makes any difference. Like I said, I tried to use the printer cable before. Still doing the flushing. Stop flushing now. Oh, yeah, so it must have been the cable. I was using the... Um, so don't use a printer cable, <laughs> use the cable that came with it. So now we've got, uh, yeah, so it's updated. So now we can eject it. And turn it off. I didn't actually, I've not actually updated the anything on the iPad. But now we have new, new, super fuzz, Jimi Hendrix super fuzz, Jimi Hendrix octave fuzz, Jimi Hendrix stuff. Um, go to modulation, EQ, we should have a EQ, legendary vibe, yeah there we go, bass EQ, guitar EQ, so it's updated, it's worked, <laughs> yes, anyway that's just my process of updating it from a not very good at computer person, <clears throat> okay good luck updating your sparks, keep playing guys.